Welcome yogis, I'm Jewel with Become Yoga School and today we are going to do a sunset wind down practice. This is the perfect practice if you're looking for something a little slower, if you want to settle down your parasympathetic system or get yourself ready for bed, or if you just have one of those days where you want something a little easier, a little slower. So we are actually going to start on our backs. Bring your feet forward onto your mat, lie down with knees bent, to relax into this shape. Close your eyes, relax your toes, and rotate your palms to face upward, letting your energy out to the universe. Stay here for an inhale. As you exhale, let that come out the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose, Exhale out your lips. And if you feel comfortable here, go ahead and seal your lips, breathing solely through the nose and the back of the throat. We call that our Ujjayi breath, Ujjayi. Like a whisper at the back of your throat. draw your right knee into your chest. Take two hands onto the knee or the shin. You're going to start to stir this leg bone in the hip socket, just like a spoon and a cup of warm tea. Gently letting it go a few times this way. And then yogis reverse that. Take it a few times that way. Great. We're going to take this into a seated supported pigeon or hip opener. You're going to straighten this right leg to the sky, cross it over your left ankle. Prop yourself up on your elbows, and then stay here, lift your heart to the sky. This may simply be enough for you. If you want something more intense, walk this left foot in. You also have the option to come up onto your palms or to straighten your elbows. The more you lean into that right hip, the more intense it will be. If you're up on the fingers like me, you could also spiral the fingers back, start to lift the heart into a chest expander. Breathe in, one. Breathe in, two. Breathe in, three. Excellent. And then straighten this right leg in front of you. We're gonna come up to sit on two hips. Your left knee is pointing up to the sky now. We're gonna give this left knee a hug. So wrap your left arm around and then your right arm around. Give her a nice big squeeze. Lift your chest and then counter twist toward your left side, propping your left palm or elbow behind you. You could certainly come down here if you prefer. It's more like getting right into your sleeping bed. Whatever works for you. Three breaths in this left side twist. Remember that on our insides we have our, our digestive organs but also a lot of our glands like our pituitary glands our lymph nodes so this is also giving a very slow massage to let your body know that it's time to rest one more breath in excellent and then i'm going to turn to face you this left knee is going to turn to its side with your left foot coming in toward your right foot. You're going to bring your right palm onto the shin bone or onto the floor here. Reach your left arm to the sky and then side bend yourself over toward your right leg. You could gaze straight forward toward me. You could look up at that left elbow. You could close your eyes and enjoy the sound of the ocean wave. I love shooting out here in Rockaway Beach, New York, New York. Even though we're famous for our skyscrapers and our hustle and bustle, we also have this calm energy in New York. We're going to take this to stargazer pose. You're going to bring your left palm beside your left hip. Come up onto this left shin and then open the heart. Release your left leg forward to your right leg. Turn yourself sideways here. Inhale, reach arms up. And as you exhale, simply forward fold. 
doesn't matter here where your hands land. It could be on your thighs, your shins, your feet, or grab a strap or yoga block. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Relax the shoulders. Relax the jaw. Right, yogis, we're gonna do all of this on our second side. So bend your knees onto the ground. Bend your knees and put your feet onto the ground. And then slowly lower yourself back onto the mat. And this time we're gonna work the left leg. So shoot your left leg to the sky, bend the knee, stir it around again like a spoon in your chamomile tea, setting up the pace, the energy, the ease. Reverse that circle, counterclockwise. Nice. And then remember the version of seated pigeon you already performed. We'll do the same on our second. So again, left ankle over the right knee. You could simply rest here. You could come up onto your elbows. You could scoot this right foot back and bring your hips forward. You can also spiral fingers back, lift the chest coming into this seated, hip opening pigeon. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Everyone marvels at the sunsets here. Breathe out. Lengthen this left leg into the floor. My right knee is still bent. Come up onto your hips here. Readjust if you need to. And then take this left arm around your right knee. Give it a big hug. Notice my right hand moves a little bit. Twist yourself toward the right. Engage past your right shoulder into the sunset. Continue to face the direction you're in. I'm just gonna swing around so you can see me. This time my left leg goes straight, my right foot comes into the inner thigh. This left forearm is gonna come onto the thigh, the knee, or the floor. The right arm reaches to the sky. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, side bend to your left, opening up the chest. Be mindful here not to shrug the shoulders. Instead, open the heart. And again, gaze forward toward your computer or your phone, or look up toward your right elbow. As you continue here, feel that right shoulder blade pack onto your back and feel the right ankle and right knee just settle down like it could implant itself into the sand. Inhale. Ah, threading that right side of the chest open. One more breath in. Great, we're gonna take this to stargazer pose. So like a comet in the air, sweep that arm back, take it onto the floor. Lift the hips, reach the left arm up and out, squeeze your abs and lift past your left thumb. Great, then re-land your hips. This time I'll be facing the ocean. Straighten two legs in front of you. Two arms up. Exhale, forward fold. And since we're repeating this, you might notice the second one becomes a little easier for you. Or maybe you progress it to a new place in space. Wherever you are, let the head drop down. Let the breath flow. And then we're gonna counterpose this with a reverse tabletop if it's possible. You're going to stay here in staff pose. Just press your palms down. If you can bear weight on the feet and the hands, we're going to now lift the hips up, press into my 10 toes, my 10 fingers, lift the glutes as high as you can and thread the heart up toward the sky. Opening the heart for a good night's rest. When you're ready, land your hips into the floor. Gently bring your two feet together, let the knees open up, interlace the fingers and wrap them underneath your toes. Lift the chest out, and as you exhale, bend the elbows, bring your head toward your toes. I 
think that your feet are like a book and you've just opened up the pages. Like your favorite bedtime story. Whatever helps you wind down. I remember when I was younger, I had these miniature little books. The Princess and the Pea. Jack and the Beanstalk. And I think up until I was 10, I would read those little books and be amused by them right up until that time. Excellent. And just like you close the pages of that book, you're going to take your hands on the outer side of your knees, gently fold the knees together, walk your feet forward. We're going to move toward a Shavasana. Reach your fingers forward, gaze out past the thumb, scoop the abs and roll down for five, roll down for four, roll down for three, two, and one. Reach your arms to the sky, straighten your legs in front of you, bring your palms together, and then you're going to bend your elbows, bring your thumbs toward your third eye, that's right in the center of your forehead. This represents all that we know, all of our wisdom. Bring your thumbs in toward your lips represents all that we share, all that we speak. And then finally bring those thumbs in toward your heart center. This represents all that we feel. So as we put ourselves to bed, we have that perfect balance of thinking, speaking, and feeling. You're welcome to stay here, wrapping your hands across your heart. If you prefer taking a corpse pose with palms beside you, go here. Five breaths. Inhale, one. Inhale, two. Inhale, three. Like the ocean waves coming in and out, you just breathe in and then you let it go. Inhale, four. Inhale, five. This feels peaceful and satisfying to you. I welcome you to stay longer, listen to the sounds of the ocean. When you are ready, if you are ready to move on, if you're not yet in bed and you need to brush your teeth and get there, gently bend your knees. Softly use your hands to help you ease into the fetal position on your right side. You can even use an arm as a pillow. Let it go or let the face rest. All of them work. And to finish out this wind down flow, right in your eyes, press into your left palm and then your right palm come up to sit or kneel. Just swing your leg around. Bring your hands to heart center. Give yourself gratitude for showing up on the mat today, for setting your energy for your evening or your day. And finally, as a team, as a community, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, take a forward bow. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. It is my dream that you have beautiful dreams tonight and that you sleep well. I will see you back in another video with Become Yoga School. And until I see you on the mat next time, remember to always inhale positive and exhale negative.